morning students this is suvarna ma'am your science teacher as you know due to corona virus all world is facing mess and trouble our prime minister has announced lockdown nobody can move anywhere without any urgency that's why i am communicating with you by this video all right today we are going to begin with our very first chapter crop production and management With the help of this chapter we will be able to answer the following questions what is agriculture what is a crop what are the cropping pattern in india and last one what are the agricultural practices food is one of the basic necessities of life for all living organisms as already learned in previous classes that food provide energy for carrying out all body functions such as digestion respiration and excretion food is required for growth development and body repair so when we are talking about basic necessity of life food water and air are extremely essential for survival of any organism to perform any metabolic activity or even natural processes our body needs energy and food or being more specific nutrients in the food gives our body energy among all the living organisms only green plant make their own food since green plants have chlorophyll they can perform photosynthesis and with photosynthesis they make food in the form of glucose animals and human beings depend on plants and other animals for their food herbivorous animal directly depend on green plants for their food while carnivores eat other animals meaning they also depend on green plants for food but indirectly in order to provide food for a large population proper management and distribution of food is necessary if management and distribution of food is not done properly there will be famine in some areas and in other parts there would be more than enough food till 10000 bc the nomads wandered from place to place in search of food and shelter later people learned farming and domesticating animals to meet their food requirements this marked a new era in the history of humans from food gatherers to food producers till the nomadic people were used to move from place to place in search of food after 10000 bc they learned farming and domesticating animals and this is how they turned to food producer from food gatherer agriculture is an applied science that deals with the mass production of crop plants and animals useful to human beings in general agriculture is the process of producing food fiber and many other desired products by the cultivation of certain plants and raising of domesticated animals beside crop production several other related activities like fishing sericulture come within the scope of agriculture the population of india is increasing very rapidly to fulfill the food requirement of such a large population increased production proper management and distribution of food is necessary beside as earlier explained proper management and distribution of food is necessary india is second largest populated country in the world so to fulfill the stomach of each person it become necessary to manage and distribute the food properly plants of the same kind grown at one place on a large scale are called a crop so when the same kind of plant is grown on a large scale the plants come to be known as crops as you can see in the picture the first photo is of maize which is a cereal crop then sugar crop for example sugarcane and lastly spice crops cardamom meaning elaichi black pepper means kali mirch india is a very vast country a rich variety of crops is grown in different parts of the country because the climatic condition like temperature humidity and rainfall vary from one region to another though two broad cropping patterns can be identified in india these are kharif crops rabi crops 
Yes, India is a very vast country. But do we do we have same climate in each part of the country? Does north has the same level of humidity as that of south? No. In each part of the country, the temperature, the humidity and rainfall varies. Now, that's about seasons, but soil also varies from place to place and this is what results in rich variety of crops grown. But basically, in India, there are two cropping pattern. First one is the Kharib crop and second one is the Rabbi crop. Kharib crops. The crops that are sown in the rainy season are called Kharib crops. Kharib crops are sown at the beginning of the monsoon season that is June or July and harvested at the end of monsoon season that is September or October. Kharib crops depend on monsoon for growth. Example, rice, maize, etc. The seeds of Kharib crop are sown in rainy season that is between June and July and are harvested meaning cut off the end of monsoon that is between September to October. These crops are sown in monsoon season because their growth depends on monsoon and they need more water. Rabbi crops. The crops that are sown in the winter season are called rabbi crops. Rabbi crops are sown at the beginning of winter season that is October or November and harvested in March or April. Rabbi crops do not depend on monsoon rains for growth. For example, wheat, mustard, etc. These crops are sown in winter season that is between October to November and harvested in March or April. Since rabbi crops are not sown in rainy season, they do not depend on monsoon rain for their growth. Agricultural Practices Agricultural practices are activities in a particular sequence undertaken by farmers over a period of time to cultivate a good crop. In general, agricultural practices are the steps involved for cultivating a crop. Step 1. Preparation of soil. Second step, sowing. Third one is adding manure and fertilizers. Fourth one, irrigation. Fifth one, protecting from weeds. Sixth one, harvesting. Seventh one, storage. Let us learn them in detail. Preparation of soil. It is the first step of growing crop. It involves loosening and turning of soil. Preparation of soil involves two steps, plowing, leveling. First one is plowing. A process of loosening and turning the soil is called plowing or tilling. This is done by a, by a using plow, which is either drawn by a pair of bulls or driven by a tractor. Preparation of soil involves loosening, turning of soil and leveling it. So, the process of loosening and turning the soil is called plowing or tilling. It is done with plow. We will learn about it later. But why tilling is important? Loose particles have more air spaces that helps the roots of crop plant to breathe better. Loose particles hold more water for longer duration which helps the roots to absorb more water. Loose soil helps roots to penetrate deep through the layers of soil. Loose soil mixes easily with manure and fertilizes. It helps to remove weeds. Weeds are the undesirable plants. Loose soil promotes growth of useful microbes which help to add humus to the soil. Plowing brings nutrient-rich soil at the top from lower level of the soil so that plants can use this nutrient. Now let us see agricultural implement used for plowing. Plow. So plow is basically traditional tool used for tilling, weeding and manuring. It consists of plowshare. Plowshare is a strong triangular iron strip. Second one is the plow shaft. It is a long rod of wood. Third one is the beam. The other end of plow shaft is attached to beam which is put on the bull's neck. Second agricultural implement is hoe. This is used for removing weeds and for loosening the soil. It consists of it consists of a long rod of wood or iron, a strong 
broad and bent plate of iron is fixed at one end of long rod which works like a blade at the other end a beam is attached the beam is placed on the bull's neck cultivator the tractor driven plow is called cultivator the use of cultivator saves both time and labor so when a number of plows are driven by a tractor it is known as cultivator and obviously at one time more plows would be used it would save both time and labor leveling after plowing the plowed land is leveled and pressed lightly with the help of wooden plank or iron leveler a leveler can be driven by animals or by a tractor in the field leveling is done because the plowed field may have big pieces of soil called crumbs which need to be crushed leveling prevents soil erosion as the leveled soil is not done by wind or drained off by water leveling also helps in the uniform distribution of water and manure the plowed field may have big clumps of soil called crumbs it is necessary to break these crumbs leveling the field is beneficial for sowing and it also prevents soil erosion and helps in the uniform distribution of water and manure selection and sowing of seeds after soil preparation the next step is selection and sowing of seeds only clean healthy and disease free seeds should be selected seeds should be treated with fungicides that is chemicals that kill disease causing fungi after selection of seed they need to be sown in the field such that they are sown at right depth that is neither too shallow nor too deep and at right intervals so that they get proper air sunlight and nutrients sowing of seed is the process of placing seeds in the soil sowing of seeds means placing seeds in the soil to get healthy plant clean healthy and disease free seed should be selected now when we sow seeds if they are not sown at right depth and at equal intervals it would cause overcrowding and there would be competition for sunlight nutrients and water among these overcrowded plants to prevent overcrowding some plants a few plants are needed to be removed seeds are sown in fields by the following method first one traditional tool the traditional tool for sowing seeds is shaped like a funnel having two or three vertical long tubes with sharp ends the seeds are filled into the funnel passed down through the pipes with sharp ends these sharp ends pierce, pierce the so soil and place the seeds there as you can see this is the funnel shaped mouth where seeds are filled the sharp end of long tubes pierce the soil and place those seeds which have been passed through long pipe seeds are sown in fields by seed drill seed drill is used for sowing with help of tractors this sows the seeds uniformly at equal distance and depth it also ensures that the seeds are covered by soil after sowing this protects seeds from being eaten by birds sowing using a seed drill saves time and labor appropriate distance between the seeds is necessary to avoid overcrowding of plants this allow plants to get sufficient sunlight nutrients and water from the soil seed drill sows the seed uniformly at equal distance and depth and also covers the seed with the soil with the help of tractor seed drill save time and labor and in previous slide we have already discussed about overcrowding